Welcome to Massive Beers. My name's Matt. Ah, the beer stuff. Let's do the beer stuff. A re-review. We don't do re-reviews all that often, but I was out um, doing errands today. Um, and I had to pop over to Pennsylvania to get hay and a straw and a bunch of stuff that the family needs here in the farm and picked up some stuff from our cousins for the kid and yada, yada, yada. So I was over there. So there's this like small little kind of like beer distributor over there that carries like fun stuff from time to time. So I popped in there and there was really nothing really catching my eye. I picked this up. The Shoots Black Butte Porter. I have not had this in a very, very, very long time. I don't remember. I looked up a review. I reviewed this eight years ago. And I liked it. I actually watched the review. I at least skipped it apart whether I liked it or not. Just I didn't really want to watch the whole review. And there's something about it, man. A 5.5% porter kind of was something I was like, you know what? I want this. It's a nice, crisp fall. Old school. Let's do it. And let's just not buy it and drink it. Let's review it. What does it say in the bottle? 5.5% uh, Black Butte Porter. Deschutes Brewing Company, Bend, Oregon. Handcrafted since 1988. So this is... um. It looks to be about eight months old. Shouldn't be a problem with a porter. Um, and it says this beer uh, that started all named for the uh, no wait named for iconic Black Butte towering high above Central Oregon. Seen for miles, this surprisingly balanced porter has rich notes of chocolate and coffee and luscious creaminess and roasted finish. No wonder it's America's favorite. Very modest. The shoots. Very, very modest. So let's crack into this. Yeah, you're talking about fall classic baseballs going on. Watching World Series, hoping the Phils can close it or win it all. They have a one game lead, 1 0. And uh, yeah, kind of in the mood. Kind of mood for something a little roasty toasty. Itty bitties. Like, well, it's all right. Change a little bit over time, but it's still, it's not that the shoots, their labels haven't really wowed me at any point portion of time their beer has though that looks all the part of what you'd expect from a nice porter rich creamy dark you know that kind of toffee uh, malted malt ball colored head with that rich rich dark color everything that's marion webster dictionary version of what a porter should look like it's good news i don't remember it being this chocolatey and having a touch of sweetness to it i remember it being a little bit more roasty a little bit more less sweet on my nose. Again, it's been a while, so it could just be me misremembering, or, you know, our, our, uh, what we detect, our palates, our nose, all that changes over time. But it really does smell slightly desserty. You know, there's a nice soft roastiness, a perception of a bittering roastiness, a nice kind of chocolate component that has this touch of milk chocolate to it. it smells really, really nice. It smells a little bit beefier than 5.5%. Nothing too crazy, but it has this kind of adulty dessertiness to it. It's not like a pastry stout or a pastry um, porter, but it has these kind of old school without adjunct kind of softer kind of desserty notes. Let's dive in. Cheers, y'all. I mean, it is. Yeah, it is. Marion Webster Dictionary old school in a good way porter it drinks really easy it has this fluffiness to it the softness to it but finishes like almost thin like when i say finishes thin, when you swallow it's like it's quick it, if so it has a mouthfeel to it it has a nice body to it you know you're drinking something to lower abv because of that body but it's got this creaminess that ends up being super drink drinkable. It's not hefty on the finish. I mean, the chocolate is a roastier chocolate here. You are getting a toasty, not like getting off into like Russian Imperial Stout kind of bittering toastiness, but there is a bittering, there is a toastiness, but it, it's kind of reined in a little bit. Again, you know you're drinking something lower ABV. There is a soft um, kind of creamy, oaty, vanilla kind of thing. It adds that little subtle dollop of a kind of milk chocolatey thing to it. It's not nearly as sweet as you might think it could come off on the nose, but it's definitely there. It's probably a secondary player in the beer. It really is this roastiness and this chocolate that is really the star of the show. 
and a super drinkable porter. You're talking about 5.5% porter. It just, honestly, I picked it up because I wanted a six pack of roastiness that was low ABV that I want to rip and enjoy. This is exactly what this beer is. It's very much the anchor porter. That kind of, think about that, but their own version of it. I th think this is a little bit just a skosh, hair more, um, desserty, and very minimally than that beer, but in the same kind of ballpark of those kind of low EV porters that you could just drink a bunch of, especially in these colder months. You know, Halloween is a couple days away. Like I said, gonna want some baseball, fall classic. It's gonna foot the bill very, very nicely. Very tasty beer. Very tasty beer. I, I, I scored it. That's how long ago I reviewed this beer. 90 out of 100. I don't know if I was if I was rating beer still, I'd probably put it a little bit higher now. My appreciation for this beer has probably grown a little bit with my older age. And um, I just think it's really tasty, really well done, honestly. You know, for I think he paid like eleven, twelve bucks for a sixer of this all day. All day. All day. Drinking beer. Drinking beer. Nice roasty old school porter. Giving me the goods. I'm a happy man. So, yeah, um, it is one of the better porters I've had as late. I had an uh, anchor porter um, not too long ago. I had actually bought a six pack and then had some on, uh, out to eat, and I was enjoying that quite a bit. And you know, let's say if they didn't have that on uh, on a on a menu a place out, and I saw this, definitely ripping some of them. And just say, you know, it's just one of those beers. It's just like I said, beer drinking beer. It's, it can be the conversation if you want it to be, but it also be facilitate. Or, or, or be absent from the conversation and just be kind of there doing its doing its doing its job as a tasty bevy. The shoots, let's talk about them. What's your experience? How have they changed for you, especially if you're like an old older beer drinker? Has there has your perception of the shoots changed over the years? You know, going from you know kind of a kind of a hard to get coveted ish brewery to now kind of like a shelvy brewery have you been to the brewery have you had this beer have had it lately have you had it a long time ago all that stuff down there hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully see you next time cheers y'all